Hey y'all, it's Trin and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a really late spur of the moment video. It's gonna be a uh, get ready with me plus a little mini vlog for my last day of junior year. I am a junior and this is my last day. We Today is Thursday, May 26th. Yeah, we get out on Thursday and um, this is my last day. So I just wanted to do a little get ready with me. I actually have to be quick because I decided to wake up late. I set an alarm to wake up early, but because it is finals week, I've just been so tired. But anyway, it's just going to kind of be like a chit chat, get ready with me. And whatever else, I need to do my edges, but that's besides the point. But anyway, I'm just going to kind of talk about like experiences and stuff. But anyway, it's really bittersweet because you know i am gonna be a senior and you know that is really something like i'm gonna be an adult and like go off to college like so you're like it's crazy how that happens and how fast it happened i swear i remember just walking on the campus of my high school and just becoming a freshman like it's crazy how fast time goes like literally my god sister at her own graduation party when I was around in fifth grade, I remember her telling me that, you know, Trin, cherish when you become a high schooler and cherish those moments because once you get in, you know, it's going to end fast and, you know, it goes by fast. And I didn't believe her. I was like, what? It's like four years. Like, I feel like that would take forever. And um, she was right. Like, literally, I can't believe I'm going to be a senior and I'm going to be graduating. Like, it's going to be crazy. Junior year has really taught me a lot, not only about myself, but just about, it's just tested me. Like, it has been so stressful and so much work, but you know, I'm really proud of myself. I've passed all my finals so far. I have one more to take today, which is in chemistry. But yeah, I'm really proud of myself because, you know, it was really hard and I went through a couple things these last couple months and I really could have let it all go and I didn't so I'm very proud of myself and just happy that I am going out of this school year just knowing that I tried so that's the tea on that well a recap I'm really proud of myself for going to more football games and whatever and making memories because I did Although some memories I made are with people who aren't in my life anymore, you know. I'm just glad that I took advantage of my junior year. I'm actually happy to be a senior, to be honest. I'm happy for the experiences it will bring me, but I am kind of sad, you know. Like I said, I will be an adult and I will have to leave my mom's nest. Like, you know, I'm going to have to go to college and be an adult. Like, I'm going to be living by myself. You know, I'm going to have to be adulting, you know, it's not no more. Your parents are around for everything. Like, even if you have a job, like, you know, you still live with your parents and stuff. It's no, none of that. I'm going to be by myself. And, you know, I'm just going to have to do things, you know, by myself. And I'm a very independent person. So this has nothing to do with independency. I'm very independent. I just feel like, um mentally i depend on my mom like i depend on her for like making the right decisions in life helping me make the right um choices like um relationship wise and such that's how i depend on her so i know she'll be a phone call away but you know it's just different and that's something i'm not ready to let go of so that's kind of scary because I know how fast this year went so I know that when my senior year comes it's gonna come and go just like that so yeah I'm gonna make sure I cherish those moments go to even more football games do what makes me happy and just like live it up because you know 
you only get one senior year I just want to make sure I'm living my life to the fullest especially with you know getting out of certain relationships it just really taught me to live for yourself and really cherish those who really put good energy around you the relationship I was in and this is a friendship by the way I just feel like in that friendship my character like my personality was kind of toned down because that person was very closed off which caused me to be closed off and that kind of cost me the opportunity of being friends with people who i'm friends with today so you know just that was a learning experience that i learned um trying not to be a procrastinator is something i also learned and just um giving forth more effort like i struggled with algebra too i don't know if i've told you guys but math is not my strong suit it's the class i struggle with the most but i was good but anyway it's the class i struggle with the most so it's really a class where if i want to do good i really have to put forth more effort and that's what i did this year um i never told you guys but my um the beginning of the year i had a teacher i had a teacher and he was very sweet he was very nice i liked him but then a couple months into the school year he had passed away so we had to have a new teacher and it was kind of really hard for us it was really hard for me and other students to really grasp the mask of everything that happened and then just because we were going through a lot of teachers and subs because of his passing so it was really crazy and then once we finally got our teacher who was now my teacher has been in one of my videos like she's stable she's actually going to be a teacher and she's taking over his classroom or whatever but the fact about it is like it got really hard to focus on math and like learn it because of juggling all those teachers and such so with her she's really sweet and i really thank her like i just want to give a shout out to you miss Algin. i'll be thank you for everything you did for me because although it was hard to grapple her teaching at first she really did uh give students the chance to come in after after school come in at lunch to get the extra help she was a teacher who wanted you to do good like i remember we had a test and although i turned it in early there was a few people who did it and she literally uh unsubmitted it like three times just so people could turn it in on time and get a good grade like no other teacher or my teacher I've, I've had has ever done that so i really appreciate her for making sure that we succeeded this year because that really meant a lot i just can't believe junior year is over but i'm so glad i ended up turning out my camera and getting my lazy butt up because this is something that i won't be able to do again so i really wanted to make sure i did a last year right with me for junior year i did a couple school vlogs and i'm glad i did my spirit week vlog because i really want to be better at capturing memories i have so i definitely will be doing that for senior year i'm definitely going to be doing a lot more vlogs this year really has taught me a lot about myself and i just feel like i love myself more and i cut myself more slack I feel like sometimes I'm too hard on myself and I've really learned to ease up a little bit and just be thankful for things that I do do and what I can do. I feel like it is an easy human trait to just um, compare yourself to others and their accomplishments when in reality we can't do that because everyone works on their own time so you just have to be patient with yourself and that's something that i'm learning i was um able to turn in some straight b's that i had into a's and b's so i'm so happy i got a b on my spanish final which if y'all know me personally y'all know i struggle with spanish this year and that was such a blessing like i literally almost cried and i was texting my mom like oh my gosh mom thank god like god is real like i can't believe that i passed it because once you get into high school and i'm gonna be doing like a freshman and my sister's gonna be a freshman but i'm just gonna be doing like a freshman coming into high school um advice video but anyway this is just gonna give y'all a free game before i do that 
when you come into high school, if you don't pass a class, you have to retake it. So, after I ended up passing semester one Spanish, I'm like, okay, cool. Now I gotta do uh, semester two. So, that was stressful. And I actually, towards the end of the year, I actually did better. I started trying more, uh, getting my extra credit, which actually helps. And, you know, started putting forth more effort. So that did help my grade, but anyway, um, yeah, so like, if you don't pass class, you have to retake it. So I'm thinking that the whole time, and it's really stressing me out. So you really have to make sure, don't do what I did. I don't think I applied myself enough. I really could have done better in Spanish if I would have studied more vocab and such and such. Although I wasn't horrible, like, it's not like I was stupid and didn't know any of the curriculum, but... I could have done better than I did if I would have practiced and studied harder. So anyway, that's some advice, especially learning a foreign language. I really recommend studying and working hard. But anyway, but yeah, for any class, if you struggle with math, like just make sure you, like I said, I would stay in my teacher's class at lunch numerous times and um, after school because you need to put forth that extra effort. High school isn't no joke and it's really about where you're gonna be after that. Like, even if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, I feel like you should wanna apply yourself and have good grades and such. If you're gonna go to college, you really need to make sure, especially junior year, those are the grades that matter. So you need to make sure that you're applying yourself and trying hard because it will all nip you in the bud if you don't, for real. Like, that's what I literally tell any of my freshmen and sophomore friends. Like, I'm like, yeah, you, you know, y'all slack, y'all having fun this year. But I'm telling you, once you get to junior year, you can't play around like that. Because it's so serious. Like, it's just, no. And it's literally such a blessing. Like, me and my friends will talk about it. Like, we've been talking about it this week. It's literally such a blessing that we got through this year and, like, didn't fail. Because it was hard. Like, I've never had this much assignments. I've never had... Like, yeah, I've never had this much assignments, this many exams. Like, my chemistry class, that is test back to back to back, y'all. Like, she pushes out so much test. And it's honestly overwhelming. But I'm so blessed that I got through it. Because it was crazy. Okay, I'm running kind of low on time, so I'm going to spray my face real quick. And I will come back to y'all when I have my lashes on so I can show y'all my outfit. So guys, the next clip you're about to see is me showing y'all my outfit of that day. Um, just for context, every day, like, I basically show my Snap story, like my, um, it's a private story, but it has like, all the people my age and people I go to school with, like, in it. And I just show them my outfit of the day. So I was like, this is my last outfit of the day. And y'all will see how my outfit looked. So I can't actually do the proper outfit of the day, but today's outfit. Shirt for two She's a American Eagle and shoes. I don't know where I got my shoes. So, guys, I just got to school. It is. 7.44 and this song has me on the chokehold y'all. Glamorous by Fergie is so good. Yeah, this song. Bomb. But anyway, I'm off to my psychology class because that's my sixth period and that's the period we go to today. I will update y'all. We just finished. Well, I didn't finish any finals because I didn't do any. But the seniors are practicing, like walking the stage. I don't know if y'all can see them, but yeah, they're, they're practicing. They're practicing them walking the stage. But yeah. I'm with the fire. Say hi. He's the one that I'm with. Hey, Paula. Hey, Paula. Michaela. Paula Murphy. But yeah, the seniors are just at this level. Yeah. I'm <laughs> 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 
I'm in chemistry. It's 10 21. We're not doing our final yet. She said she's gonna give us 30 minutes before we have to do it. So yeah, everyone's just chilling in the class. But, yeah, we're not doing anything. I was actually watching too much Wolf, y'all. I <clears throat> had gotten into it a while back and then I never really watched because season five was born, but I just got to the good parts and it's getting heck good. I think I'm on episode 15 now. I was binging last period because like I told y'all, I didn't have to take a final since I already presented my project. So that was good. But yeah, I was just watching on Hulu. Yeah, I'm on episode 15. Yeah, I'm on episode 15. I'm just chilling. I'm kind of nervous for this final. Even though our grade only goes by, I mean, down 2%, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know how I'm gonna do because chemistry has been a struggle for me this year. But yeah, I'm gonna actually try to get my chemistry teacher in the box. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get her in the box. But yeah.